Peace and blessings, family. Sister Aja Lee, my condolences to this gentleman's family. I don't support anything that he, uh, oh my goodness, he was a pimp and accused of raping a 14 year old girl who became pregnant as a result and he was convicted of that crime. And so thereby I have to refrain, even though I feel for his demise, I wouldn't wish death on somebody uh, for committing crimes that perhaps at some point in their life, they may have been able to redeem their behavior from supporting in any way, shape, or form and committing in any way, shape, or form. So my condolences to his family who may have loved him. And that's as far as I can go in this discussion about Sinful P's demise and the Black Manosphere. Wow, um, this is going to be complicated. And I think, first and foremost, I must thank you, Brother Diason Productions, for putting the demise of this young man, uh, for me, he's young, um, before me, Sinful the P. And that P stands for pimp, because he literally was a pimp. Now, there's no definitive cause of death being noted and sinful was, according to, you know, the literal definition of being a part of one particular uh, portion of black YouTube versus another, he wasn't technically a member of the black manosphere. However, he was welcomed in with some questions asked by some brothers who spend time in the black manosphere, but there was a resounding welcoming of him offering, a, you know, guidance on how to have a stronger black relationship and family. I'll speak more on that coming up, but I just want to emphasize we don't know what definitively took him out at a very, very early age. I believe he was only in his 30s. But in noticing the rise in the numbers of black us, both men and women, dying uh, from ailments, I, through my research, have discovered are caused by radiation that's why I'm going to tackle this demise and the other occurrences all in one fell swoop. Uh, just, you know, looking around at those who are speaking on the noticeable uptick in deaths amongst those in the black manosphere and one particular brother who I'd be happy to shout the brother out. And actually, I will, because he just, he was in, incredible. And, and brother, I love brother Doug, but I just happened to stop on that comment right there. But this brother, you know, BMT was just breaking it down. So that somebody who would never, ever, ever tarry in the black manosphere could understand it completely. And there's other brothers who explain it really well, who will... Spend time there, Brother True Seeker 24, uh, Brother Mad Black TV have explained what's going on in the that area of YouTube so that it, it just confirms that I'm so grateful to be with my king. And there's so many, uh, the overwhelming numbers of men I meet 
are black men of that caliber, upstanding, fortifying, working in their community, just no nonsense, wise black men, brilliant black men, all right? Not those that I see rummaging around in the black manosphere. And I, when I first came to YouTube and didn't understand that there were different areas, I would listen to some of them. And one of them actually defended me against one of those folks, you know, with the sunglass wearing types who was trying to say that I was married to two white men. It was just really weird. Um, so this brother pointed out a lot of patterns in the black manosphere, including that so many of them wind up being uh, exposed for having raped some woman or child uh, as a sinful P was convicted thereof. And I'm just saying the young lady, not lady, girl, she was 14 when she was in court or accused sinful the p of raping her and the brother bmt very very wisely put any questions to rest because he was horrified that sinful the p was just brought into the black manosphere to talk about having healthy black families and you know brothers steel has to sharpen steel uh, but from everything I've heard, especially with some of their titular heads uh, supporting just pearly things, that ain't coming from them. And also their die off. Uh, and I don't wish that on them. No, I don't. Right. Uh, but he was just pointing out the hypocrisy of having someone who's been convicted of pedophilia who was on the, the, you know, predators list as a advocate for healthy black families. And also uh, that there were those in the, he says he participates in many of these chats and there'll be those who try to just, you know, minimize what these persons do in order to just keep them there and 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 there he says there's no health there was even like uh a r c brother who murdered himself killed himself committed suicide and he said it was awful because nobody in that realm was they saw the signs but nobody offered anything to rescue this gentleman who took himself out um and then he also mentioned someone who i i once ran into and was astounded with how just how clownish he was obsidian who just he worships just pearly things and i went and investigated her content for myself and so that i could just confirm that this chick means it's absolutely no good whatsoever Right, he worships her. He, uh, Obsidian also worships Kevin Samuels, who meant this no good whatsoever. Right, and the brother BMT, th and I thank him for that. Uh, and I went and listened to Obsidian long enough to see that he it wasn't he wasn't joking. That Obsidian was very very ill so he couldn't even leave his home or his bed I don't know where he was spending his time it might have been in a hospital but he said himself he was ill for a whole year a whole year and looking at the photos that he posts of himself he's lost a tremendous amount of weight and it doesn't look like it was a good weight loss because he's eating healthy or improving his diet. And one of the things that Obsidian said that I just found absolutely just troubling was he said that when he first came to YouTube, he didn't know what really what to talk about. And then five seconds later, he said, yes, but I came here to give the word. If you came to give the word, then you know what to talk about. Uh, but he kind of cut himself off at the past because I think I can't accuse him of that. But he was about to say that he came here for money. 
He came here for money. And so in that year when he was bedridden and couldn't do anything, he read books about YouTube and learned that it's a formula. And then shortly after that, he said, you know, because I came here to give the word. No, if you came here to get the formula. And then he said, you know, because I realized YouTube is a business. Whether that is true or not, uh, for some of us, it's not about the money. It's not about the popularity. It's not because he was like, people say I should have been blowing up. I should have, you know, he should have had a big, huge channel. Right. But I think when he says he didn't know what to talk about, he didn't know what level of phoniness to engage in. Now, in highlighting Obsidian, I'm just doing it because he was ill for a whole year. And there and first, you know, because I limit the amount of people I interact with on social media. I can only handle those who I can tell by your deeds. You seem to be authentic. I'm not saying that you won't, you know, something might not happen where that person transforms later on down the line, uh, but I'm just noting that others have come and mentioned what is it with the black men who are suddenly dying and the brother BMT mentioned that nobody in this black manosphere manages to live beyond the age of 50 or I don't know if he said 60, 50, but around about that age, and we've all been noticing it. But this is something that I've been sharing about uh, for over 10 years. I just did a live covering the demise of our mighty warrior brother, Dawa Israel. He would never qualify in a million years (laughs) to be considered part of the black manosphere. So this doesn't have a specific boundary. I just want you to know that warning. And we have to understand, we are in hell and the devil is in charge and he does not want us to pivot on the truth. So, when it comes to the black manosphere, if there is an undue amount, and they mention Kevin Samuels, David Carroll, ARC, uh, a couple others, um, if there is a high count, I mean, I've been talking about this uh, for just the longest time, right? <laughs> and I put this quote out here. Oppenheimer was on board with radiological weapons experiments efforts, stating to his colleague Enrico Fermi, I think that we should not attempt to plan unless we can poison food sufficient to kill half a million men, since there is not doubt that the actual number affected will, because of non-uniform distribution, be much smaller than. Oppenheimer was discussing radiological weapons via ingestion by widespread food sabotage. And that quote came from behind the fog, how the U.S. Cold War radiological weapons program exposed innocent Americans by Lisa Martino Taylor. It was a quote from page 26, just in case you want to confirm or not. You know what I'm talking about, but I have been warning us about that at sea moss and anything coming from the oceans because they got mukbang challenges out here where and seafood jamborees where you have like, who was it? Steph Curry's wife who went and got plastic surgery so she wouldn't have so much of a moon face. She's such a white woman. Um... It was, she was doing twerking or it might've been Jada Pinkett or one of them chicks up in those witchy circles of, you know, famous black people. She was cooking seafood and twerking at the same time. Yes, I do believe it was Steph Curry's wife. Um, and she was supposedly supposed to be just this, you know, sweet church-like lady when he married her. And then she flipped the script. She did a Cynthia G where she went on a red round table with the definite witch, 
right? Jada Pinkett. And in my conclusion, my firm conclusion. And then all of a sudden she's like, I get so jealous because I want other men looking at me. <laughs> the way they look at other wives. Who gives a damn? If you've got the love of the man that hopefully you cherish like that, you don't give a damn about whether any other man finds you attractive. I know that's the way I feel. I'm, woo, I dress so nice right here inside my beautiful home because the one man I need to see me as attractive is the man who gets my complete and total respect, right? This is the happiest place in the world for me, right? And so she was cooking seafood and twerking. I looked at that. I said, oh, dang, ain't that but some Oppenheimer approved modality for killing black us, right? So the sea moss and the radioactive rice and the right now FDA allowing all food in from Fukushima grown in soil that is just as radioactive as it was when Fukushima popped off. And you know they are targeting that at the black community. But how are they going to get you? Uh, through your habits. And a lot of us are copying the orchestrated bad habits of these devil folks. Now, this is someone who I'm like, why are black us talking about this dude? Andrew Tate. Brother Mad Black TV did a definitive, just a analysis of what makes a real man a real man. And first off, you don't need to repeat it often. A real man doesn't need to bloviate about who and he who he is and what he does. But you see here, he he showed how Andrew Tate at the beginning of his career was quite soft looking. And then all of a sudden he hardened up and became this alpha male. And look at what he's doing here with the cigar and the, you know, I don't know what the heck that is he's drinking because I don't drink. But, um, you know, Chardonnay, Chianti, whatever you call that stuff. These will get you in an early grave. Then all by themselves. But now you got Fukushima man-made radiation and all the other man-made radiation out there. These are dumb, non-thinking, non-researching moves because propping up what these white people have put as a measure of success, you are going to be far more prone to contamination than everybody else. Right? You're going to be drinking. You're going to have no sensor on your habits whatsoever. And when it comes to the radiation, you have, this is the terrible, horrible irony of it all. All those black people who would consider themselves health practitioners or just, you know, healthy eaters. You don't have to be out there trying to help anybody else, but you just think of yourself as I'm doing better. Those would be the types who would eat the sea moss, right? And the ones who would be more beholding to the notion that a black woman housewife wouldn't know what she's talking about and would trust the media. Even if you think you're pro-black, you'll trust the media that is not talking about Fukushima at all. You'll hear me. And you just glaze right over and you'll keep on wondering, why is this big die off? When I'm just here to tell you, radiation doesn't stand still. It's not racist. It don't give a damn. They're going to pivot it towards us specifically. Oh, heck yeah. At Ernest Sternglass, the federal milk program started back in the 1950s, I do believe. And it was Shanghai in the 1960s. So that radioactive milk would be beeline right to our communities, right? But it doesn't stand still. It doesn't stay in one place. I learned that from researching Chella Binks, the first massive 
nuclear power plant accident in Russia. They found out that all it took was one little bunny rabbit coming, hopping across the field, bringing that radiation out, and all it takes is one atom, right? And so this is why they had my voice so exponentially, and they had people like even Obsidian, who probably didn't even know what the hell I was talking about, wouldn't even do any research into what I was talking about. Anybody be worship? He called Kevin Samuels a saint. I was like, you crazy, right? Dude died with no wife, no children in a booty call. How is that supposed to be supporting us, right? And, oh, I won't say any more because I could say more, but then I would drag other people into it. But I'm just saying these folks will find those black women so they don't look so punked out, so they don't look like they are just, they can't get enough of Becky. Right. And so I do believe uh, that, you know, for certain people, I don't I, I would say more definitively, even if he's not a, uh, an operative, he wants that money so much uh, that you just de facto become one. Right. So I, I do believe because I would go to these larger platforms and tr and I was just astounded with how logical, reasonable, intelligent they sounded. And a lot of them would just cuss me out, cuss me out. And I'm sorry that your ranks are in trouble. I don't wish harm for anybody. I'm just saying, you need to snap out of it because death ain't no joke, okay? This sucker went everywhere. The more research I do, the more I discover the comprehensive nuclear test ban treaty organization within months, Fukushima radiation was found on every portion of this planet, northern and southern hemisphere. This is just within a couple months right up on here. How would anybody avoid that? And that's just two isotopes, right? Cesium and iodine. Uh, there are almost 3,000. And this was just what came out of one reactor. Uh, there were four reactors that gave up their payload into the sky, okay? So this times it by, you know, you do the exponential math on that and figure out how much you should be times in it by. Uh, but you wouldn't see a single gap of blue in there, okay? <sighs> I love you, family. You know, I'm happy if any black person can achieve, uh, you know, monetary comfort and stability. That's a beautiful thing. So I'm not mad at anybody. But I notice these platforms, folks will just drop 20 bucks without a thought, just so they could ask a question. I've written books because I'm not here to fear manga. I'm here to give you the cures, which in all my reading, that's what I kept coming across again and again and again. And I said, nobody's going to read all these books because you'll get a certain amount of information from one and then you'll get another amount of information from the other. You have to read dozens and dozens of them to get the full story that I compacted and put in here furnace of affliction, healing radiation damage to the human body. There should be no hesitancy. If you want to live, go to 25,000yearscycle.net so you can understand what's happening because it ain't going to stop where it is. It's going to get worse. People up here hoping, oh, I hope the new year we won't see so much death. Ooh, don't I pray for that. But I know that's not the science 
of man-made radiation. So by Furnace of Affliction and by my novels too. The soap will be available shortly. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. But it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I want to make sure it's right and exact. So when my king puts it up on the website, you put in an order. Next day, I'm packing your order and getting it out in the mail. Okay? All right. I love you. Straight black family pride is our map to everything we could ever need. Peace and blessings.